right guys, heading to the West Seattle Community Garage Sale. There are over 300 houses participating. Last year is right before Mother's Day, so not as much houses participated. Um, this year it's not as sunny as last year, but let's see what I can get. Alright, these are all the items I picked up from the West Seattle Community Garage Sale. And this lot does seem small compared to the previous years. If you look back last year, I got a lot more uh, retro games and video games in general. And even the year before that. But I'm not complaining because this year I picked up these uh, pieces of art. Um, these five framed and matted um, Flintstone, Scooby-Doo, and the Jetsons uh, cell pieces are really pricey, and I got such a good deal on those. But let's talk about the video games first. And the reason why I have a smaller lot is because I'm in Seattle, and yes, it does rain on the weekend sometimes. And the rain decided to come down and pour down on the weekend while I was there. So, it's okay. I still got some cool stuff. Well, we have a bunch of miscellaneous toys and um, figures here. We got a couple Skylanders. We have Spyro, and this is one of those Spyro Giants um, figures, along with the Portal. And these were all from the free bin, so I was pretty happy with this. There was actually more, but my niece and nephews attacked me, and they already got a bunch of them. Um, we got Megatron. This is pretty cool. Then we got some Pokemons, including... a. Uh, Jigglypuff and Togepi and we have two Lego minifigs and actually there was a lot more but there was a guy in front of me trying to snatch up all the uh, minifigs and all the Lego related items but he did, did not get those two. Then we got this Dreamcast. I paid $20 for this complete inbox Dreamcast in good condition along with these six games. Well actually five because that one's a web browser came with a fishing reel and a bunch of fishing games. We got Sega Marine Fishing, Sega Bass Fishing 2, Real Fishing Wild, also Rayman 2, The Great Escape, and Revolt, which I really enjoy. I remember playing that when I first got a Dreamcast. Let's go over these Wii titles. And I got these Wii titles at the same garage sale as those free toys. Well, these were a dollar each, so really good prices. They also had a bunch of um, Apple products, but um, I wasn't able to get those. Somebody else did. We got Skylanders Giants, Skylander Spyro's Adventure, Boom Blocks, a good title there, Mario Kart, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Wii Sports Resort, Raving Rabbids Travel in Time, Rabbids Go Home, and then a bunch of Lego titles. Lego Star Wars 3, Pirates of the Caribbean, Bat Lego Batman 2, Lego Batman 1, then we got Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4, and Lego Harry Potter years 5 through 7. So again, all those were a buck each, along with these DVDs and Xbox 360 and PS2 titles. First we got Speed Racer, and this has 11 episodes on it, so I decided to pick that up for a buck. And I couldn't pass up on Minecraft, the 360 edition, and The Walking Dead. I also picked up Sly 2, Band of Thieves. There was a ton of other games, but I decided to pass on them because there was this kid and he was looking for PlayStation 2 games. Um, so I decided to share. Um, he was grabbing all the uh, really good uh, platformers for PS2. So I passed on those PS2 games. But I did pick up this Astro Boy and GBA SP for five bucks, and it does work. Now let's move on to what I'm really excited about, getting these framed pieces of art. And these are production cells. This is Scooby-Doo. Um, that one looks like it's one of those unfinished art cells. Then we have 
Elroy from the Jetsons, and it does come with this seal. And if I go down here, I can show you the seal a little bit better. So the seal says original art from the animated series. It comes from Gallery Lanesburg in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And all these have this this seal. It's in the back of this uh, Barney and uh, Flintstones, uh, Fred Flintstones, and the Scooby Doo. So these are pretty good. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna flip these or keep them or trade them because they are expensive online, especially the framed and matted ones. Those go for a lot and sell for a lot. Um, so hopefully I could find somebody that's into this so I could work a trade. I'd rather do that than um, just strictly sell it on eBay or something like that. But I mean, I've seen a few of these go for over $300. This one is a little bit more special because this one is signed. I found a couple of these on eBay and then one of them right now is going for like $329, but it's not even signed. So I'm guessing this one's worth a lot more just because of the signature and it does have the certificate of authenticity. This one is 2,320 out of 2,500. Um, so I'm really excited about that and this one's my favorite just because of all that's going on here and it's entitled Microstone. Um, so he's on like this computer using using a mouse there. That's pretty funny. And it's just popping with all these colors. So if anything I'd keep this and maybe trade or sell the rest. So those are all my pickups from the West Seattle garage sale. I'll show you guys some of the other pickups I got. Um, hey guys, I want to show you a quick pickup that I got. I got these from Desert Industries, one of my favorite thrift shops to go to because their prices are very fair. For example, I paid a total of $14.24 after taxes, so $10 and $3. So for three bucks, I got the N64 controller. Not bad, right? It sticks pretty good. But this is the best part, $10 for this Dreamcast setup. And it came with this kind of clear black or transparent black um, Dreamcast VMU, which I have never seen before, not in that color. Got the controller, 10 bucks right there for the system, and inside of it, got a bonus, Marvel versus Capcom 2. Awesome game, and it's in great shape. So really happy with this purchase. So if you guys have a Desert Industries near you guys, check it out. Hey guys, I got some lunchtime finds for you. Uh, I picked up some items from Goodwill and Desert Industries. I rarely go to Goodwill nowadays, maybe like once every few months, but I had an inkling to go this time. And good thing I did because I did find some cool stuff. Um, Desert Industries, on the other hand, I try to go there maybe three times a week because they have... Um, good stuff at good prices. Um, you just gotta be there early. Uh, so let's take a look. So let's start with uh, Desert Industries. We got just a couple items. Um, I did pick up that cool Dreamcast previously, but this is a Wavebird, four bucks. And it came with the receiver and a memory card. So that was a good deal. And then picked up this Blu-ray. This is a Human Planet. Um, I'm into these type of documentaries, uh, four bucks. I figured once I watch it, then I could sell it or something. Then, the Goodwill stuff. Now, I rarely find stuff at Goodwill. Um, I found this near the front, and I got this Game Boy Advance SP. This is the Nintendo NES version, and it does work. It didn't come with a charger. Um, it's kind of low on battery, but and I have no game, but it does work. It did turn on earlier, so it's it's in decent shape. I mean, there's some scratches on the top here, but for $11.99, that's that's a steal. And then another thing that was $11.99 is the Sega Genesis. Uh, it came with two controllers, a three-button controller and a six-button controller. Looks to be in good shape. It came with three games. 
Scott Columns, Echo the Dolphin, and uh, what is that, Fairy Tail? That's not how you spell fairy. Maybe it's Fairy Tail Adventure? I have no clue. I've never seen this game before. Um, but it's made by EA. By EA? Huh. Usually they make sports titles for the Genesis, so uh, I doubt that the sports game. And the weird thing is, it came with a PS1 um, AC adapter. Uh, and here's the Genesis itself. So uh, I dug around some more, and guess where I found the Sega Genesis adapter? It was bundled with the Wii. So obviously they don't know what they're doing at Goodwill. Oh. So I had to buy this Wii bundle so I could get the Sega uh, adapter. Of course, I could have probably asked if I could swap the adapters, but I was like in a rush. Um, again, this was during my lunch break, but I paid 25 bucks for this. That's not too bad, right? For a black Wii, it came with a nunchuck, a Wiimote Plus. Oh, two Wiimote Pluses. Nice. And of course all the cords and the uh, if I can get it out. This black Wii. Cool. Hopefully there's a game inside. Maybe there's like a Mario Kart or something. So I'll find that out later. So I did spend 25, 12, and 12. Plus I rounded up like I always do. Donating to uh, Goodwill. Um, their job training. And yeah, that's all the stuff I got.